I'm guessing I'm not getting on the train. Um, I think if we just wait until we get to the point where we definitely know it's going to stop. Yeah, that's fair. We want to ram it a few times first. Push me! Push me! <laughs> uh oh. What? We started going sideways. Yeah. Oh god. Things. Fences. Oh fuck. Explosives. Explosives. <laughs> Keep away from explosives. <laughs> They will probably separate the uh, horns from the front of the truck. I want to know if we can do it while the thing's still <laughs> functional. <laughs> uh, fuck you, train! <laughs> I wonder what that train driver's thinking. What the fuck is this truck doing? <laughs> How is that truck still going? That's what I'm wondering. Judging from the judging from the, the angle of the wheels, she shouldn't be able to move. <laughs> judging from the, the pitch of the wheels, it looks like the, the, its axle would have been broken for ages ago. I think it's got. I don't think it's this stop. I think it's the stop afterward. This is a terrible train. This is a terrible train. It stops in one place. It is. Well, I suppose it is a freight train, so... But, I mean, even a freight train needs to generally stop in two places. You know, yeah. you stop one place, pick a load of stuff up, you stop in another place and drop that load of stuff back off again. This way you're just taking stuff from one place and taking it back to that place. Why are you giving it an earring? <laughs> <laughs> you're giving me a little tour. It's like if every time you had to go buy food, you had to take all the food from your kitchen with you. <laughs> yeah? Give you a bit of an earring, John! <laughs> an earring! Go on, train. Now it's just like we're fucking being a procession for the fucking train. <laughs> we're, we're the herald of the train. The train is coming. Fear the train. It's the train cometh. All fear the train. You've never read Good Omens, have you? No. I know I should. I know it's apparently wonderful. It is that thing. It is wonderful. 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 I don't quite know... I think it stops here. It does, but I don't quite know how... No, oh, there it is. It stopped. Oh, God. <laughs> Sean, you're parked on the butt. <laughs> In secondary notes, you don't have a door on that side anymore. I don't. Because I had, I had a trip, I had one for so long. The mountain, then one person. the mountain could not <laughs> remove it. But the man who fucks mountains <laughs> managed to do it. We are. Oh God, I've fallen over again. Just stay on the thing! I wasn't even trying to get on the thing! Just stay on the flatbed! In the flatbed! Are you even on the tra are you still on the I'm track? On the train. I only fell over, I didn't fall off. Is it is it moving? It is moving now. Right, I am driving full on towards it. I am trying to see you. I am I on my way. I am going to RAM IT! <laughs> you have rammed it, but you still have horns on your truck. I shall get rid of these horns even if it kills me! <laughs> hey, sure. Hi. Hi, sure. <laughs> Try and get as far out as possible. Well, I was just going to say, because there's one bit in it where um, Crowley the Devil uh, is driving his truck his, his car, because he has a really nice car, because he's a demon. He's a devil. Um, and basically, obviously, he doesn't have the financial concerns of buying stuff. No. He's evil. Um, he's an evil son bitch. Yeah. 
Nope. That's it. And basically, he's like driving through the night. Data received. I'm worried about that. Now. Um. He's driving through the night to get to um, the end of the world, where it's going to take place. And, like, all of these demons attack him, and all of this stuff happens to the car, that it basically gets totaled. And it's described at one point as just a fireball with wheels at the bottom. And it literally is, like... Um, they like, he gets to the place, and the guard... Like the night guardsman at the place that he's arriving at just watches as this fireball with wheels pulls up and Crowley in his immaculate suit and sunglasses steps out of the truck out of the car and it just crumples to dust because the only thing that was keeping it upright and working in any way was Crowley's willpower and as soon as he gets out it's all gone right I am heading back towards the train. I am looking at the front of the train. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Something's fallen off. Oh, it's a wheel arch. Yep, it's my other wheel arch, I feel. Those horns are fucked up. They are, but not fucked up enough. They are still attached to the car, however. I feel Hold upside on. down, Sean. <laughs> Hello! Bye! <laughs> Bye! Oh god, I'm on the highway! <laughs> are, you, are you able to get back? Yep. Oh, I see you. I should be Hello! Up. Hello! Alright, oh, yeah, I see you've, you've managed. <laughs> I know this map like the back of my hand. Hey, what's that? How it works really well if you do it. It does. Does it? Does Because I can't see the back of your hand. Bitches ain't shit. Aren't they? No, they ain't. No. I'm back. What are we doing? Uh, we are continuing. I have a car, go, Bob. Let's do some fun. I'm still trying to get this hood off this car. <laughs> We are trying to. Should I drop it from a cargo bob from a large height? Dehorn Shilton's truck. We've been I've been ramming a train head on for the past five minutes. We're probably longer than that. Ah, fuck you! Can I try? Uh, if I don't destroy. Whoa! Oh god! Crap! I thought for a second, I Sean, you'd done it, but then I realised it was the back of the truck. I am smoking now. I don't think these are coming off by this train. I think we may have to try the cargo box. Okay, well come back and pick me up from the train. That works surprisingly well. Shall I repair it first? Because obviously if you drop it from the cargo box now, it's just, it's just going to explode as soon as it hits the ground. Meanwhile, if I repair it, it may stand a chance of actually surviving the fall. Well, it depends on how high up you want me to go. Pretty damn high. We've just driven down a mountain and rammed a train multiple times. It's <laughs> everything else has come off of it, but the bumper is still on. <laughs> what about if I drop you from the cargo bob onto the mountain, down the mountain, and onto the train track where a train will hit your car? Do you think that might do it, or do you think that's OTT? I think <laughs> that might be OTT. Also, you could get higher up if we weren't over the mountain. That's, this is true. How much is the repair bill on this, Sean? Seven hundred and twenty-eight dollars. <laughs> That's some decent work. I mean, especially since they do it so quickly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's just a, a, a large group of people with tiny hammers to buff out all the dents. You know, I really want to see, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to show at some point the uh, Carmageddon reloaded repairing mechanic. You just. <laughs> no, it literally like unfolds the car in front of you and like any of the bits of it that are still laying around on the track just like jump up and spring back into place. I just need to try and get to somewhere that's... Well, have you seen some of the um, Drew, the animations? 
Oh, one minute. What am I going on? I've gone past you guys. Wait there. I'll try and get in um, some. Yeah, minute. have you seen some of the reanimation um, for when you come back to life in Sunset Overdrive? Yes. Oh. I haven't. They, they're quite cool. Is the DeLorean not one uh, of them? The DeLorean, uh, I've, was I've, I've heard the DeLorean's one of them. I've heard, I've heard the DeLorean was one. I've heard, I've seen, um, like, a machine, like, basically squishes, like, some clay and then you appear. Yeah. I've heard aliens, I've seen aliens drop you off. I've seen the orange and blue portal. Uh, got you. Uh, Woo! Here you go. So the objective is to get rid of these horns. Yep, so get up very high. And I'll try and steer it mid-air so that I'm going to be trying to go <laughs> pointing straight down. <laughs> well, if I just, like, do this and then, like, release, that surely would help. It oh, may stop doing that now. Yeah, we want to, we want to get the it does, make it, it does make it extremely... Hard for you to fly it. Simi, what's the car? It's over that way somewhere. Let's go get him that car. Da, 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 Drew, da, don't da. avoid the building. Damn it. Don't avoid the building. We're trying to dehorn the truck, remember? Yeah, but we also kind of want, you know, the cargo bob to be usable. But Drew, avoid the building. Damn it. You're avoiding the building too well. I'm too good at flying. <laughs> Damn it, John, why aren't you flying this thing? I'm good at flying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I can insult you all at once, it's not like you can leave the car. <laughs> I was gonna slam you into a maze, Bye. but I got worried there. This the doesn't help the fact that you're the cameraman. Oh, yeah. So bye. Hey John, have you got out? Yeah. He said I couldn't get out. Well, in... So I wanted to say that I could. You're a knob. Because now I've got to come pick you back up because you're the sodding cameraman. That's fine. Ow. Ow. Where are you? I'm on the ship. Well, no, but I have a feeling his landing wasn't, didn't go as smoothly as he'd hoped. There was an air vent. It's fine. Just keep going up. How the hell are you gonna? I've got my What's... ways. Spectator mode, when oh, you spectator jump. mode. Yeah. Does mean he'll probably go into an, a random world. I will, but... but we'll just have to invite you back in. Unless it's too late. You don't to... have to. Well, obviously, it's, since it's going to be a slightly shorter session today, it's it may be it, that it we... may be that this is all we do tonight. I'm just ramming you now. <laughs> Well, I was trying to sort of like maybe if I just keep doing this, that the horns might come off. But then I realised you've done but, this with a train and it's not yeah. right. Yeah, and a, and a mountain. <laughs> yeah, I'm Ooh, just thinking. Where do I want to be dropping you? Do I want to be dropping you onto like the streets below, or do I want to like fly out into like the middle of nowhere? I think the streets. If you could drop him onto like a building and then like he falls off the building onto the floor, that's like bush bush. Either way. That's terrifying. A very high, what? A very high height, yeah. isn't it? I'm si I'm just sitting here in my, in my. Erin, <laughs> stop me, mask. Erin, my lovely, lovely girlfriend, has decided to go uh, to Halloween as Chica from Five Nights at Freddy. Okay. And she found That's... we went to the, we went to this costume store and we found this like really just like weird duck mask, chicken mask. <laughs> and and she's just walked into the room she's just removed the jaw of it to attach it to her lower jaw separately and so it moves separately and it's kind of terrifying two seconds work phone's going I'll continue to fly up hooray <laughs> one of the people in the MCM expo group is saying that they are going tomorrow as Foxy Foxy from uh, Five yes. Nights as in the the pirate man. I don't know. I always 
Well, the only one I can think of that will match that description would be the, the one that comes out of the Pirate Cove when you don't look at the cameras for a while. Or you look at him for too long. Or you look at him for too long. Have you seen the trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's 2? I have seen that there is such a trailer. Yes. Yes, I watched the trailer. There's a whole lot of nope in that. <laughs> apparently, apparent, apparently no doors. I'm like, oh, but you get to wear... Uh, you wear a costume? Yeah, you put on a, like that's a the mask doors. instead. So if they come too close, you so can like, disguise yourself. How does that work? Do you have to, like, power the mask? Mm. Right. Uh, I'm... I Pretty can... damn high. But I can still go up. I might as well, yeah. if I've got this high. If you've gotten that high, I might as well just continue and get us until we can go up. No. <laughs> God, this is gonna be... <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna die here, but... <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, it turns out I can't get cinematic camera on here. Well, technically speaking, I'm. I don't. I don't quite know how it handles the fact of when I'm in a, in when you're being carried, because obviously you can't rev your engine or turn your wheels while you're. You can honk your horn. You can change your lights. But you can't do much else. I've got one that's like mounted to the the, the front of your car. Well, that'll do. <laughs> I'm just currently looking back at you, sat in the driver's seat. As you're currently looking like up and down and all around. That's because I'm rotating my camera. Oh, you can't gesture while you. <laughs> You can honk your horn though. That's what bad is. I can't hear it. I can. I know it's there. <laughs> How close to the top of the world are we, Drew? Dunno. I think we may be there, but I think I presume work phone. Difficult to tell. Well, I can only barely see lights down there. Yeah. Because of all the because of all the cloud cover. So we're pretty damn high. I think we are at the. Oh God. <laughs> um. 